when you catch yourself thinking about something, uh, I want you to ask yourself a couple of questions. The first thing I want you to ask, is this the right time to be thinking about this? Now, I ask that question because a lot of people, when they're depressed or anxious, they ruminate a lot in the middle of the night. They wake up and they start to ruminate about something. And so even if it's good problem solving, 3 a.m. is rarely the best time to do problem solving. So the first question is, is this the time to be thinking about it? And if it's not, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to read, listen to music, do something else. The second question I ask is, am I avoiding anything? Because it Avoidance is quite common in both depression and anxiety. And a lot of times we ruminate and our rumination kind of tricks us into thinking we're doing something useful and meaningful. Uh, when in fact, you know, we should be doing something else. So maybe I am uh, supposed to be working on writing a paper and I'm really dragging my feet on doing it. I don't feel like writing that paper and so instead, I'll start thinking, ruminating about something that um, has recently happened or that's coming up. Oh, what am I going to say, you know, when I do this interview with, uh, you know, the practitioner series? What I'll have to think about that. And maybe I just start ruminating about it. And I'm not really making any forward progress. I'm not writing anything down. I'm not taking any steps. Really what I'm doing is I'm avoiding working on writing my paper. So we want to find out, am I avoiding something? And the answer to that is if I'm avoiding something is to put my energy into doing something about the thing I'm avoiding. So the answer to these questions about rumination are, is it time to be thinking about this? Am I avoiding something? And then how long have I been thinking about this? In general, once we establish that someone is doing unhelpful rumination, uh, I generally give them like a two to three minute. I let them choose. Do you want to have two minutes, three minutes? How much rumination do you want to do before you stop? And so we literally give it a time limit and say, when it, at the end of three minutes, if you're not actively problem solving, coming up with steps that are useful, then I want you to stop thinking about this and go do something. It can be something very mundane and practical, like go do the dishes, or it can be something like take a walk, or it can be tune into your sensory experiences. Because getting people out of their heads and into the world around them is what is really one of the best antidotes to rumination. And so I want people to get engaged with something and really pay attention to that thing. So if they say, I'm going to go for a walk, then I'm going to say to them, now, how are you going to make sure you're not ruminating when you're walking? Because I can walk and ruminate at the same time, and I'm sure you can too. So then we'll talk about what else could you do? And one thing, an experience I often give people is a kind of a mindfulness exercise where I'll, I'll say to them, Okay, while you're out walking, uh, I want you to play the five senses game. So I want you to notice one visual sight that you really like. And then I want you to look at that and really enjoy seeing it for a minute or two. And then I want you to go to another sense, you know, maybe find one smell you really enjoy. Get up close to that smell. Enjoy it. Then I want you to Get one sensation. Is it the sun on your cheeks or the breeze on your face? Or is it the feel of your feet crunching on leaves or snow? And I want you to really pay attention to that and really enjoy it. And we, we can go taste. I'll always take myself to an ice cream store if I can. And, you know, we'll, so we'll go through the different senses and get people focusing on their sensory experiences rather than ruminating about something in their head. Usually about 10 minutes of doing some kind of activity with sensory focus is enough to get people engaged in something else.